Hello everyone, welcome back to Vicki's Country Home. Starting on January 1st, all three of us, Brian and I and Shana, all went on the keto diet. And we've done pretty well, which is amazing because it's a busy time, but I'm still making it work. We have had no sweets. And it's funny because we don't eat a lot of sweets normally, very seldom. Well, Shana does, but we really don't. But you notice now it's like I want something. So I found a keto recipe that I'm going to give a try. And I haven't made this before, so we'll see how it comes out. This is for coconut lemon squares. And it's keto friendly. It uses, instead of regular flour, it's going to use coconut flour, and I'm using Bob's Red Mill, and it uses almond flour. And I bought this in bulk from Azure Standard, so, and I keep this in the refrigerator to keep it fresh. And it's gonna use erythritol as its sweetener. So this is all new to me, <laughs> but we're gonna see how it is because every once in a while you just want something sweet. And this will make eight servings and each serving has three net carbs and 236 calories. So again, it's not something you're gonna do every day, but when you want that sweet thing, this is a good option because it is low carb and hopefully it's gonna taste really good. So let's get started. All right, to start out with, I greased a nine by nine baking dish, lightly greased it with coconut oil. Now we're gonna make the crust. So we're gonna take one cup of almond flour and a quarter cup of coconut flour. And we're just gonna kind of blend those together. And Mrs. Lori on Whipperwell Holler had one of these and I loved it. So I went to her link and I bought one. So if you want one of these, go to Mrs. Lori's video and she shows using this and it, it really is a neat little tool kind of between a whisk and pastry cutter, something like that. All right, you blend those two together. And now we're gonna add a quarter cup of the erythritol and a half of a tablespoon of fresh lemon zest. And now using clean hands, I'm going to really make sure it's mixed because we want all of that lemon zest broken up and distributed throughout it. All right, now I'm gonna take three tablespoons of butter that it's been softened, and we're gonna cut that in. You know what, I'm gonna try my other pastry cutter, see how it does. I showed you this one in a review, more like an unboxing a short time ago. So let's see how this goes.
Well, I have to say this one works better for this. So now, once you get it mostly broken up, again with clean hands, we're just going to go through and blend it. And I think that is pretty well. I'm just going to stir it up from the bottom and look. But it looks to me like it's blended well. And I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. So I'm going to pour this into my lightly greased baking dish. And we're just going to press that in well. So now we're going to bake this in a preheated 350 degree oven for 12 to 15 minutes. We just want it lightly golden. Okay, I have one tablespoon of butter in here. And I'm going to get that melted. I'm actually going to turn it down on this stove. Medium gets pretty high. Now I'm going to add three quarters cup of erythritol and half a cup of almond milk. And we just want to stir that till it's completely dissolved. Once the sugar and butter are completely dissolved, we're going to pour and strain one cup of lemon juice. We want it strained. We don't want any of the little bits in there. And now I have five beaten eggs. And at this point you want it on low heat. You don't want to cook the eggs. And we're gonna slowly add the five eggs. And now we're just going to keep this over low heat and stir it for five minutes or longer. We want to get it thick, so it could five to ten minutes. 
So rather than having you watch me stir this like watching paint dry, I'll bring you back when it starts to thicken. Now I forgot to, to tell you that to this mixture we're adding another half tablespoon of lemon zest. Now I'm just going to keep stirring. All right, it's been maybe five minutes, maybe a little bit more. And you can see that it is thickening up nicely. And I think it's there. Now we're going to take our crust that we got nice, lightly golden, and pour this in. I'm trying to do this so you can see. Okay, now we're going to put this back in that 350 degree oven, another 12 to 15 minutes until the lemon has set. Alright, I've taken my lemon bars out of the oven, they are cooling, so in the meantime I'm going to take two tablespoons of almond flour and three quarters cup of lightly toasted coconut. And I just did this in a small cast iron skillet on top of my stove. And half a tablespoon of butter. And I'm just using the little bowl on top of my food processor because this is a small amount. Okay, here it is, and now I'm just going to sprinkle this over the top. Okay, so I'm here tonight with my sisters. I love these two. And this one is just in town and I'm at her house. So this is awesome. And I made this keto friendly lemon coconut bar. So we're gonna try it. I don't know what it's gonna be. <laughs> Can't wait. It looks fantastic. Can't, I don't know. Wow. You like it? Oh gosh, yes, I do. That's amazing. The lemon is 
Super lemony. It is. <laughs> and just then puckery. <laughs> <laughs> puckery. <That's it. laughs> but then the coconut adds a nice little crunch. It yeah. does, and it's unsweetened, yeah. so it's kind of neat. Fantastic. So, yeah. That well is done. Really good. Thank you all like it? Oh yeah. yeah. And it's on my diet. Yay! Yay! <laughs> awesome. Cheers. 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 Yay! <laughs> It's a keeper. Really lemony. Yeah. Which is what you wanted. I wanted so do you use yeah. lemon zest or what do you <clears throat> use? Lemon zest and lemon juice. Yeah. Oh, wow. A whole lot of mm. lemon juice. That's awesome. But then what you. else goes in there? Almond flour, coconut flour. Erythritol is a sweetener. So you can't use sugar. Um, unsweetened coconut. Mm. Eggs. Wow. Almond milk. Now, are you using almond flour and almond milk because it's more keto friendly or? Mm hmm. Because you can use the nut flours. But you're also using coconut flour, so. Okay. Because regular flour would just be starch. It's carbohydrates. Or, I mean, that's right. It's yeah. carbohydrate. Okay. Yeah. Mm. That's wonderful. So could you not use cow's milk? Would you have to use um, dairy? Um, you have to be careful of. I don't understand all that yet, but yeah. um, there's a lot of dairy, and you need full fat. You don't want to use half and half or anything like that. So when you use dairy, you're usually using the high fat. So if you're using almond milk, it's straight. It's zero carbs. Yeah. Really. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, this is so good. Mm. Well, yay. Thank you all for watching. And if you like this, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. God bless, and thank you for my sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.